so that is just a, well shattered actually that is just about chrome actually breaking up he actually managed to do that the thing is though <laughs> can he escape <laughs> breaking out of the jail yes he could but can he escape uh, hi this is me the angry enemy fan a nice cover page also we also see a strange female person we haven't yet seen either way as chrome tries to work his brain on how is he gonna be able to do that we're introduced to a new member of the Sukasa army a very uh, ugly looking youth uh, well he looks pretty youthful that actually still has a petrifying thing on his eyes meaning it's not exactly fine done yet he's called Yul uh, and it seems uh, in the it's not exactly known what he was in the old days I mean he is powerful enough to do this seems to imply that he, he was a young officer when he was in the police and he but on the, but in the young one in the old days uh, he was actually a bit of a corrupt uh, police say he shot criminals every time they run so uh, and he embraces Sukasa's words only because well now he can make it to the top so to say Meaning that if he was a police in the old world, he didn't really care about right and wrong, he only cared about himself. Um, he gloats that uh, this is a trap for Senku, and he, uh, by capturing him, he will manage to climb to the top. And he considers uh, Chrome to be a savage of all of this one, but uh, Joachim is, of course, not uh, a single bit uh, concerned about that. For he considers Chrome primitive. Well, he can talk like any normal person when it comes to science, he knows. So, uh, well, Chrome tries to work his brain on what to do. And then, uh, so he uh, first he get, creates the, in, the ability to, the, in, the delusion that he's gonna go to take a leak, but manage to grab some loot, including dry pearlia, dry twigs, dandelions, and creepy wood threads, and even uh, finds a four leaf clover. However, none of that is powerful enough to create a fire to do that. It's during the night, however, he surprisingly finds a small can of battery, possibly implying that you see how to untie you gave that to him. He tries to do that. Um, Try to create a spark from it. Unfortunately, it creates a small explosion that the other team sees. And uh, as Jokun uh, mocks him, saying that, uh, Do you really think we could not uh, see the fire? Uh, so uh, he actually wonders that, Do you really think when, but when he sees the sticks, he thinks that Chrome was trying to build a fire using that stick. However, he still just mocks him, calling him a savage that uh, uh, you cannot uh, you light it up from that. But Chrome realizing that he should not um, expose everything because Jokun is just that kind of person, decides uh, that he's going to play along with his savage image, uh, saying something like, uh, uh, I have some amazing science stuff. If you know you can boil sea water with fire, you can make salt. Of course, they only laugh at that, uh, and he then and then Jorkun just says, "I look forward to seeing you escape the seawater," and that actually gives Chrome an idea, as he remembers back time when Senku broke down salt water with electricity uh, to get sodium hydroxide that could dissolve bodies. He thinks that if he can uh, use the battery with its power along with salt water he uh, should have enough to burn through the ropes unfortunately he doesn't have any seawater at hand so he uses his body fluid by doing training montages actually reveals he has uh, real underpants there <laughs> that's uh, that's new but I guess that's good enough as he does uh, insane training montages in order to create sweat despite all that <laughs> though he's still <laughs> <laughs> very skinny so he managed to create a whole bundle of seawater and then by using the battery boils it up however it's revealed in the narration that he does not that he's not creating uh, what he was hoping he created 
sodium hydroxide. No, actually, the narration is saying uh, that uh, Chrome did a mistake because there was no patrician in the salt water. What he ended up refining was not sodium hydroxide, but sodium hypoxide, known in the modern era as bleach. However, despite uh, it being bleach, uh, it still is as efficient as alkyne because it breaks down the rope into a more basic cellulite, allowing it easier to for chrome to break out. And it was actually around the same time Sink was also using alkyne solution to break down cellulose and make paper. In other words, the two uh, science users connected with each other in a spiritual way, so to speak. Because Chrome, Senko and Chrome came up with the same science, even though Chrome did not exactly know what he created. He do know that he managed to create something. And with that, managed to bre break down the wooden uh, jail door bars. The question is though, is that enough for him to escape? If you ask me, I don't think it is. He may have a, you know, a ability to escape now uh, because he uh, pulled down the bars, but he still is surrounded by muscle heads and a corrupted cop. So, um, um, not to mention the trap doors <laughs> and the trap balls. So, yeah. How will he escape? And also, shouldn't Sukasa have other people that are just as fast? I see actually no way how Senku can escape from this. But if he does, then at least Hope has won this round. That's basically this chapter. Give me a pause if you have any. Like and subscribe if you want to.